Hello and welcome to the Place to Be Reviews, Ichabu Kuin's Place to Be Reviews. That is, I am here at Holton Lake Con Day 3, Sunday. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all my friends out there with kids, uh, all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. I am, uh, I don't know if my little one's going to make it down here today. He won the uh, kids costume contest yesterday with his uh, interpretation of Groot. So yeah, that was uh, that was fun for the little man, that little gift card. Um... So, anyway, we are here. You see the screen, cinemablend.com by Corey Chorizo, Chichizola. Captain Marvel almost didn't get her new Avengers Endgame look, which I really don't think anybody would have cared if uh, Captain Meh didn't get her uh, Endgame look, the I want to talk to the manager haircut, um, with that cringy uh, wannabe A-Force moment that they shoehorn and ham-fistedly shoved into Endgame. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, it says spoilers ahead for Avengers Endgame. Like, uh, if you haven't seen this movie yet, you probably live under a rock. It's been nearly two months since Avengers Endgame arrived in theaters, and new information about the blockbuster is still being revealed. Fans were eager to catch up with surviving heroes after the events of Infinity War, as well as bring the heroes like Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Captain Meh into the story. The latter shows the true extent of her powers, coming to save the day multiple times. Okay, so she did not save the day. Um, she got, uh, America's ex-wife got punched off screen by Thanos after he plucked the uh, power stone out of the gauntlet, uh, and she no-sold his headbutt, which absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's uh, n a character that nobody cared about, nobody wanted, but Kevin Feige insisted on shoehorning her in at the end of Phase 4. That's the only reason that movie went over a billion dollars, and the only reason only because aside from the fact that it was right in between Infinity War and Endgame, a la Black Panther, which stands on its merits far and above anything that was offered in Captain Marvel, which was just basically a bunch of retcon to the MCU that nobody wanted. She's not the first Avenger. That's still Captain America. The uh, Tesseract, the, the Flurkin cat ate the Tesseract. Right, good job, uh, good job, Feige. Way to, uh, way to, way to crap on 11 years of, uh, of good storytelling and continuity. And uh, the, the, the last part I'm going to complain about here before we get on with this quote-unquote article is um, how Nick Fury lost his eye. Uh, Nick Fury lost his eye in combat, not uh, not by a kind of... Anyway, so Captain Mac got a new look in Endgame, one that closely related to her comic book appearance, the one that doesn't sell, and that's been rebooted, uh, so let's see, uh, five times in seven years now. After the time jump, Cadaver Danvers was shown rocking a short haircut, a la Caranos, who wants to speak to the manager, as well as a new costume containing her signature sash. And I think they're... Uh, they're uh, referring back to the sash you wore in the Miss Marvel days, not the Kamala Khan iteration of Miss Marvel, because we won't talk about that garbage here right now. We'll save that for another time. Um, but the new do almost didn't happen, as Marvel exec Victoria Alonso explained, and just mentioning Victoria Alonso's name makes me cringe, um, because she's the one that said that the X-Men name was outdated and needed to be changed, which is another conversation that uh, we don't need to have right now. It just goes along with the recurring theme, but Victoria Alonso's quote ha uh, is as such. That haircut was a conversation, and I was against it for a while because I was afraid people that had just met her and realized who she was, and there they were changing her hair. And I thought, is it too soon? But clearly it wasn't. Victoria Alonso has no idea what she's talking about here. Um, she's as clueless as the woman who runs Marvel, who admittedly said she had no idea about any of the source material. She was just there as a, uh, as a diversity hire, which goes completely against what you should be doing when you have somebody who's in charge of creatives and uh, a long-standing uh, company that has provided entertainment to millions and millions and millions of people, and then you hire somebody to run it who has no idea about any of the source material. That's a good business model. Once again, Marvel Studios is proven to place where every decision is approached methodically. This includes Captain Meh's short haircut in Endgame, because the MCU didn't want to have their own Felicity situation on their hands, which is harkening back to uh, Carrie Russell, uh, her TV show Felicity from the early 2000s, as uh, she had long, uh, kind of long, like curly hair, and it was, uh, they cut it off halfway through the show, I believe it was, I don't know, just a, with a really short haircut. But I believe that was due to one of her movie roles, other movie roles at the time, uh, away from that show. Uh, but I, I cannot recall. I did not watch Felicity. Uh, Victoria Alonso's comments to IGN do make sense as Cadaver Danvers was the newest addition to the MCU ahead of Avengers Endgame's release. Her 90s set origin story made a ton of money at the box office. Let's be honest that uh, they moved the goalposts for that. 
Uh, but casual moviegoers only met Captain Marvel, only recently met Captain Marvel, Captain Meh. Uh, so drastically changing her appearance one-third of the way into Endgame had some risk attached to it. I really didn't have any risk attached to it because she was only in the movie on screen for 15 minutes, and that was uh, 15 minutes too long. But ultimately the haircut was something that the comic book purists were very happy about. I'm staring right at the camera right now with a dead face, acting like Brie Larson, because I really don't think there are any Captain Marvel purists. But anyway, it gave Brie Larson's Marvel hero a more comic book accurate appearance. Again, the comic book that nobody buys, and also helped show the passage of time since Thor beheaded Thanos on the farm. And to make sure nobody was confused by the new look, Don Cheadle's War Machine made a joke about it during their meeting with Black Widow. It should be interesting to see if Captain Meh has the same short haircut during future appearance in the MCU. While Phase 4 is a complete mystery at the moment, no it's not, Kevin Feige teased that Cadaver Danvers would help lead the MCU. God help us all if they put her in charge of the MCU as the face of it. Um, that is uh, just, no, don't do it. Nobody wants that. Nobody is clamoring for Captain Meh to be the lead of the MCU. There's as many people that want Carol Danvers as the head of the MCU as want um, the Valkyrie as the lead of the MCU. And that's exactly one or two weirdos out there who uh, virtue signal on Twitter. And considering the success of her first movie, okay, let's be honest, they uh, Disney bought out theaters. There's multiple, multiple reports of empty theaters, uh, but still being recorded as uh, complete sellouts uh, of all the seats. I mean, I'm, I, I know people went to see the movie, but uh, the numbers that the movie generated as, uh, by comparison do not uh, speak and, and show this movie in a highlight, which is actually why it is the lowest rated fan scored movie on the aggregator that moved the goalpost for this movie, Rotten Tomatoes. It still can't stop the fans from telling you how they really feel. The critics, of course, give it a, give it a, a, a higher score than it deserved because they're shills who are afraid to lose their access to premieres and whatnot. Um, that's, that's, the, that's the problem with access media. And these people like the Brian Youngs and uh, guys like that and Scott Mendelsons, all they, all they do is shill for companies so they get access. Look at Christian Harloff's Meltdown on Collider.com's podcast. He openly argued and pouted and whined on air about not getting tickets to Disney's Galaxy Edge for the opening weekend. Why? Because he shilled. He, his quote was, I've busted my ass for five years as a Star Wars fan, and this is what I get. Well, Christian Harloff, real fans don't bust their ass to be a fan. You're just a fan of something that you love. So we don't care that you didn't get to go to Galaxy's Edge. I have no sympathy for you. None whatsoever. And then he cried because a woman got to go ahead of him, which makes him look like an even bigger idiot. So... Yes, this is, uh, let's go on here. Of course, Brie Larson might not want to rock the short wig for a for long shooting period, so we'll just have to wait to see how it all turns out. Nobody cares, but considering how strongly audiences responded to the haircut, it'll no doubt be another conversation for Victoria Alonso and the company. Okay, the only people that responded strongly to this haircut were the weirdo SJWs that think Brie Larson is some kind of demigod, and then people like me who just make fire memes out of her I want to talk to the manager haircut. You can catch Captain Meh in Adventures Endgame now. Be sure to check out our 2019. Okay, nobody cares. Um, I can't wait to see how this tanks on the Blu-ray sales, actually. Uh, but yeah, here you see a little little glimpse of the uh, cringy A-Force moment. Now, out of these characters, the only one that I actually really like are right here. She should be up here where this thing is. And uh, yeah, just get, get this right out of the front. Okay, so the audio is starting to pick up uh, some background noise here. With that being said, I'm going to end this video. What do you guys think? Uh, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. Am I completely insane? Or uh, it, it, did nobody care about her uh, her uh, her third wave intersectional uh, feminist haircut in this movie? I want to talk to the manager look, the Karanos look. Yeah, it was uh, it was cringy. So, and, and my God, please, somebody feed Leticia, right? Look at her. She's starving to death. Look, her arms are like little toothpicks. Somebody feed that woman. Um... I am Etepo Queen of Etepo Queen's Place to Be Reviews. Please stay tuned. I will have another interview coming up soon with the uh, the guys from uh, Pucky Comics. I'm going to sit down with them for a brief five minute interview, and we will go from there. So check us out on Twitter at the Place to Be R E One on Instagram at T P Two B R the Place to Be Reviews on Instagram, the Place to Be Reviews on Facebook. You can send me an email at the place to be reviews at mail.com but until next time i am pete i am out of here i'm gone till later on still be at Holt lake con for another five hours until then like share subscribe